So guys, today you're going to join me for a complete product breakdown using the Helium 10 X-Ray tool. And again, I want to say thank you to the person who sent this product in for me to break down for them. I hope you enjoy the breakdown. I hope you learned something about this product or whether you should go for it or not. Of course, for any of you watching, this is the Your Product Research series. So you can send in your products to me and I'll break them down here live on the channel. So hopefully you can get a better insight into the product and exactly what I'd think on it if I was to launch the product. So if you do want to send a product for this channel, then please just contact me through the email in the um, description below or just send me a message on Facebook either one of those are great and I'll break down your product as soon as I possibly can on the channel that will hopefully help you out and of course help me out with more content for the channel so everybody wins really um, and again if you like Helium 10 if you enjoy the resources in this video for using the x-ray tool then you can get that down below with the discount codes I'm just going to save you a bunch of money so there's no reason really not to do that but without any further ado guys let's get into this video All right, so let's jump straight into another product breakdown. So the first thing I look at, as I always do with these products, is the search volume for the main keyword, which is 11,360, which basically tells me this is one of, if not the main keyword for this product. So straight away, I'm happy to go ahead and look at the results. If this was actually quite a low number, like in the low thousands or the low hundreds, I might maybe question if it is the main keyword or not. I might want to check that using the magnet tool. But either way, you definitely want to make sure you have the main keyword every time you're searching for a product on Amazon to run the Helium 10 X-ray tool on. So now we've established that, that we think we've got the main keyword. Let's look at the averages here along the top, just just for a quick guide as to what this product might have in store for us. So we've got a total average revenue of 160,000, which again is much higher than the average around 100,000 I'd normally look for. So very happy of that. Average revenue of around three and a half thousand, which is much more than the average around two and a half thousand per sale I'd normally look for. Um, we won't talk about the BSL for now. Average price around 15 pounds. So yeah, that's fine. I'm sure we can um, find some wiggle room in that when we actually start looking at the products. And the average reviews of 111, which again, very low, um, exactly something we'd be looking for. So let's come down and start actually looking at the individual sellers to get more of an in-depth look at the market. So straight away with the delivery, we can see that basically everyone selling this product is FBA, which is exactly what you want to look for. This is absolutely perfect. If you were to kind of think of an ideal situation, this is what you'd want to see, a bunch of FBA sellers. I can't tell you how many times I get sent products where it's just MFN listing after MFN listing, and if if it hasn't been proved to work with FBA, you, and just you gotta remember here, guys, Amazon FBA is not new. Okay, it's not a new idea. It's not a new concept. You're not gonna be the person who is just an absolute genius and suddenly find a product that no one else has started doing FBA with. If you found a product and nobody is doing FBA with it, and just like everyone's doing MFN or it's just Amazon selling it in those kind of situations, then there is a reason for that. Either the product is too big, it's too heavy there's some sort of like restrictions or just there's some reason why people aren't doing it. You're not just the first person to think about doing it. So seeing all FBA here is absolutely great. Moving on to the price. Again, as the average price told us above, we've got around a price of from 10 to 24 pounds, it looks like, around that kind of mark. Um, I think if we launch this product, you might be looking at maybe 15 to 21 pounds would be our target market. Uh, I think one guy here is 23.97 is repeated or 2379 should I say, is repeated twice. So um, I wouldn't try and, I wouldn't look at this and think, okay, that one person selling it for 24 pounds, I'm gonna go in and sell it for 24 pounds because that could bring up issues. It could make it harder for you to rank being such a high price. Obviously this person has done it, but you don't wanna base all your decisions on that one seller. If you start selling great and it's going really well, then of course you can think about in the future, okay, I might be able to, there is possibility for me to up my price and get to that level, but you don't want to look at one seller, okay, okay right, that one person is sitting for that price, that means I can do it and that completely proves the concept. Because that's not really how it works. If I was looking at this product, I think maybe 17 to 20, 21 pounds is where I'd be looking to launch, depending on the quality, depending on any bundles I do, depending on if I add any value, that's where I would generally be looking to go for. So with that in mind, let's look at the revenue and the sales together. So we can see that from the top 15, so if I come down here, we've got a range from 22, 85, all the way up to a couple thousand sales a month, but especially in these top 13, they are distributed fairly well obviously some people are doing much better than others but at least everyone's getting kind of over a hundred sales which is very good to see and that's reflected in the revenues over here where everyone's getting basically over a couple thousand per month from this product now there are a few outliers to that and they generally tend to be the ones that looks like well this guy's mfn seller so you won't really pay too much attention to him this guy is selling for 14.99 so slightly cheaper 
Um, this guy is selling extremely cheap at seven pounds, probably why he's getting so many sales. Um, probably not the best quality product and things like that. Um, as you can see, if we actually come across here, we can see he's got a four rating overall, um, which is the only four rating that everyone else is four and a half to five star, probably why his price is so cheap. So you can see very quickly when you're looking at these numbers, how everything starts to click and link together um, and why it all starts to make sense when you think about it a bit more. But yeah, very a fair even spread among these um, top kind of sellers here. Obviously, like I said, you've got some people absolutely dominating the market, but that doesn't necessarily matter if other people are still doing well. I don't necessarily care that this person is doing 35,000 if this guy of 93 reviews is doing 9,500 uh, and obviously there's a huge review difference between them. You've got this guy doing 3,300. Um, you've just got other people doing very well. If this person had 35,000 and nobody else was getting good sales, that would worry me. But because I can see other people getting fair enough sales, it doesn't worry me as much well, there is still something I'd probably keep at the back of my mind. But moving on to the rating quickly, we've got a bunch of five stars here and some 4.5 stars um, average rating for people. Now, this does kind of draw my attention because it shows me that basically everyone here has near enough a five star rating. I'm sure even these people who have 4.5 stars, they're probably like a 4.7, 4.8, very close to five stars, I would assume. So it doesn't show me that there's much room for improvements and differences and a different way to enter the market on this product because it seems that everybody already has well a lot of people already have really high reviews they're getting good sales they've all got five stars so it makes it kind of difficult to enter the market as a new product with low reviews um, to try and compete with these people because you can't even be especially when you're new it's quite easy to have a five star rating which can give you a bit of a boost but if everyone's got that it might make it a bit more difficult now looking at the reviews um, on the subject we see these top kind of 10 people here uh, or from five to 10, the organic ranked people, um, they all have basically over a hundred reviews, up to a couple hundred, uh, even up to a thousand reviews in some cases. And this is where the bulk of the sales are. You can see seven grand, eight grand, 35, 10, 17, 25. All of these people with high reviews basically have all of the sales. And as soon as we come to here, we've got nine reviews, nine reviews, three reviews, we come to quite a big drop off. Now, that is something I would be quite concerned about. Of course, it is. Um, it is a good feature that these guys are getting some sales and obviously they are they are ranked on the first page even if it be a bit lower um it is kind of worrying not to see anyone with lower reviews in this top section and no one with lower reviews getting the number of sales that these other people are getting so that is something that does slightly worry me um but let's look at the seasonality trends of this product to see if there's anything else we should um bear in mind for making a decision on this product so with this person here over a thousand reviews obviously been selling for a very long time We'll look at his sales trends for the longest time period. So we'll go for all time to see if we can see any kind of recurring dips over the years for his product. So this doesn't go back to, obviously goes back to 2018. And it seems since January 2019, he's been increasing and we've had a massive drop here. So it doesn't necessarily tell us too much, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't really tell us too much there because it doesn't look like he went out of stock there. So we'll look at another person here with 900 reviews um, and see what his one has to tell us. So again, looks like kind of since January 2019, we started going up um, and boosting up. So check a few more here. This guy with 359 reviews. Um, so again, looks like the same thing. Since 2019, we had a big dip, probably gone out of stock here, I would assume, where um, sales dropped right down and again, gone out of stock here. But in general, the trends don't look too bad at all. So we'll check this guy with 177 just to be extra, extra sure. Um, but yeah, all the trends are basically showing the same thing. So January 2019 is when they've basically all picked up and they've all started shooting off around that kind of time. Now, these aren't the best sales trends I've ever seen. They're not the most conclusive ones. We just have like a steady kind of line. They're all a bit um, kind of all over the place. Um, so it doesn't feel with the most common ones. I'll probably do a bit more research into this product. I'd also maybe use Google Trends. I'd do um, the sales trends on a few more of these products to make sure because I'm not 100% convinced by those numbers about this product. But in general, if I was to give a decision on this product, if I would go for it, I'm not too sure. I would do more research into it. I would look at the product. I would look at um, how I can make it different, how I can try and stand out in the market, and then determine if I can do a better job. Because these people here that have nine reviews, nine reviews, and three reviews, they might just be there because, not just because they have low reviews, but also because if I look at their listings, they might not be the best... Um, like listing people, they might not have the most optimized listing, the best bundle, the best um, branding. They might not have the best of any of those things. And that might be why they're ranked here. It might not just be because of their reviews. 
as you can see this person here of nine has a price of 24 pounds this person is merchant fulfillment network so straight away you've got the highest price person you've got someone who's not doing fba both things that are going to affect where you're ranking so it might not be all because of their review count so something i have to do a bit more research into to be more conclusive about this product um but personally right now i can tell you guys from knowing what the product is and from seeing what it is if you knew what the product is i wouldn't go for it because with this product there's no way to stand out in the market and that's the thing that worries me um, with this product is that there's no way to stand out and what i mean by that is with a certain products and i did do a video on this if i can find it i'll link it in the card above with some products it, they're kind of all different in the way that i'm trying to think of a product that would be a good example i'm sure if you search uh, like ballpoint pens on amazon then every single listing looks different it's not like everyone's selling a yoga mat where all the products are the same and you can try and stand out with this product, every single product looks different and stands out different. So it kind of more goes towards the price and the reviews than what you can do to the listing. So because there's no way to stand out, because I couldn't think of a way to um, kind of draw a customer's attention, which is going to guarantee me ranking a bit higher in my opinion, I wouldn't personally go for this product. Um, but that's my opinion on the numbers, on this product, on the breakdown. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you're looking to sell on Amazon and you're looking for a step-by-step -step process to show you absolutely everything from start to finish, Check out the AZ Academy, the first link in the description. It comes with my full personal support and I guarantee you would not be disappointed. But with that said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification right next to that button and the thumbs up. Give me any comments below on what you thought about this video. Any future suggestions, I really appreciate it and I really appreciate the person who sent this product in to me. Um, a great thank you for that, for giving me more content. But with all that said, guys, I'll see you in the next video.